Hello, scientists. Today we're going to read a book together called Do You Really Want to Burn Your Toast? A book about heat. This book was written by Daniel D. Moore and illustrated by Teresa Alberini. And it's about two children who cook food for their parents and learn about the science of heat and how energy transfers to cook food. In this book, we'll hear words that might be new to you, like conductor, cool, electricity, heat, insulator, and temperature. You can pause here if you want to read a little bit more about them before we move on. Jaden, let's make breakfast for mom and dad. Shh, Lexi, they're not up yet. Let's surprise them. I'll make toast. I'll make muffins. To do all this cooking, you'll need heat. But what is heat exactly? Heat is when energy is transferred or passed on to from one thing to another. A toaster uses electricity to make heat. When you put bread in a toaster, energy is transferred to the wires inside. Heat from the wires toasts the bread. Jaden, come back. Do you want to burn the toast? Oh no, Lexi, the toast is burned. We can't serve this. Whoops, that was too much heat. Heat can change things. Some changes, like when toast burns, can't be changed back. Jaden, help me with the muffins. I need two eggs. Don't forget to turn on the oven. The box says to set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius. These numbers measure the temperature, which tells how hot or cold something is. The higher the number, the hotter the temperature is. What will happen in the oven? Before we pass on to the next page, Fahrenheit is used in the States, in the United States, but in the rest of the world, people use to measure the temperature with Celsius. In the oven, the heat goes all around the muffin tin, but it doesn't just cook the tops of the muffins. Metal is a conductor. That means it lets heat transfer through it. So the muffins will cook on the bottom and sides too. As the batter bakes, the heat changes into soft, changes it into soft, fluffy muffins. You can't change them back into eggs, milk, flour, and baking soda, but the muffins smell delicious. Be careful when you take the muffins out of the oven. The pan will be hot. Use oven mitts to protect your hands. The oven mitts act as insulators. That means they don't transfer heat very well. So it sounds like it's the opposite of conducting. What happens when you put the warm muffins on the counter? Heat always transfers from warmer things to cooler things. So the heat leaves the muffins and warms the cooler air around it. If you take cold butter out of the fridge, it will warm up. This happens because the warmer air transfers energy to the cold butter. Lexi, it's sunny this morning. Let's go play outside while we wait for mom and dad to wake up. The sun gives off heat too. Energy from the sun travels all the way to earth and heats the surface, making it just the right temperature for us to live here. Oh no! Max ate all the muffins, and the butter melted. Now what? The butter is still butter. It will change back into a solid when it cools, and we could cook some eggs. Maybe I can make toast without burning it this time. Good morning, Mom and Dad. We made breakfast for you. Thanks, kids. <laughs>